before. And so I had a fire, a fragment, fragments representing a warhead and a running jet engine. And this we used to do this down at Shubiness. And uh, every week or two I'd go down there and be firing at, at the end. But mostly they were German jet engines we fired at. And the German jet engine, or whichever make, BMW or Yumo, uh, they all had a little two-cylinder, two-stroke engine in the air intake and the nose. And that was electric started. And then it had automatic reduction gear that went and started to spin up the jet engine. And so when I killed a jet engine, believe it or not, I killed 180. When I killed a jet engine, I used to help myself to the starter engine. <laughs> and a, a friend of mine had a glider. And before the war, I used to fly a glider with a Douglas motorbike engine at Public Wing. And uh, we were looking at this little tiny engine. And he said, providing you don't drill any holes in my glider, if you'd like to make a rig up the and, and, and uh, see if you can make it fly. And there you see that tiny little two-cylinder, two-stroke engine about the wing. Uh, Run a baggy pair of trousers I'm wearing, I'm afraid. There's <laughs> <laughs> Hugh Campbell, the test pilot, is sitting in it, weighing 14 stone. There it is, taking off on that tiny engine. 270 cc, about that across the two-cylinder. <coughs> and uh, since I was interested in speedboats, 